Goods vehicle, goods vehicle, goods vehicle, goods vehicle, goods vehicle, goods vehicle, goods vehicle. Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube video. In this video, I drive, yes, another Mercedes-Benz Actros. Well, there's a reason why I'm driving the same lorry as the one in the last video. It's because the game has just updated and I thought it would be nice to drive the same lorry just for some comparison. Uh, uh, this update is rather significant and I can't remember the version. Let's have a look. Uh, does it show anywhere on this screen? Yeah, some version that just came out yesterday. I don't know if it came out yesterday, but I got the update yesterday because I, I never really, well, I don't really follow the new stuff anymore. But anyway, let me go inside. So it's a bit quieter. Uh, what's today's date? Today's date is, I think it's just, let me have a look on my electric telephone. The 6th of May, Wednesday, is today's date. And I got the, I got I mean, as a day of recording, it's on the 6th of May, and I got the update yesterday, and I was playing a bit yesterday, and I actually really liked the update, so I thought it would be nice to make a video out of it. Let me just check my display resolution is recorder-friendly. Yes, it is. And, uh, well, something I've always had a bit complained about before was the... Particularly the gearbox, the the sound, it, well, I mean the sound, well, I mean it doesn't really... Previously, all, all basically most of the gearbox, all, most of the gearboxes sound the same, if not all. Uh, that's automated, and then automatic, they've got a different set of sound. And there isn't really much variation between v uh, vehicles, um, but now there are don't know if they still have the variation but at least it sounds much more realistic now as you can see later and they also added this window feature which i mapped on some button on the keyboard hang on i, I actually need to start the engine in order to do so you may or may not be here i don't really need to start the engine to open windows but i do need to start the electrical system you may or may not be able to hear uh, there is some sort of difference in the engines and you get if you open the window you hear more of the outside sound of course I prefer having them closed normally unless when I'm reversing in which case I prefer having them open in, in case someone wants to shout at me from the outside and you can also see the buttons moving and this is not the same lorry not quite the same as the one before I still got the glowing logo up front because I actually quite like that uh, it's nearly the same. I can't remember what the last one was, how the last one was, but this is a different individual and it's based in Ham. I put it in the base of Hamburg. The previous one, I put it in the one that I drove, a, I, I hauled a double trailer in my last video. That's based in Berlin. I also have the same wheels and in this one, I have it in salmon pink, if I uh, recall colour correctly. Um, right. The indicator sound has been changed and the handbrake sound has also been changed and it's now more, more realistic. Uh, and also they fixed uh, the indicator sound on the older Scania to make it sound a bit more correct. Anyway, uh, um, I am going to haul something. Or should I haul my own trailer? Oh uh, yeah, I'll do that. Trailer manager. I think if I spawn it here, it will just connect to it automatically. I'll hold this one. Use. Yes. Yep, it has been attached. Or rather, it has been attached. There we go. That's my trailer. The, the two axles at the back are steering axle. So anyway, uh, let's get going, shall we? Now notice the indicator sound and the handbrake sound. Let me turn on the lights. The handbrake sound. Here we go. That's a handbrake releasing. That's a handbrake applying. Isn't that cool? I, I like the new. I like this update much better, which is why I'm making a video now. I'm just a bit too excited. And also, uh, my face cam is this time is a still ca camera because 
previously I've been recording in European frequency whereas my screen is at American frequency so that's a bit funny so I wanted to set all my uh, rig cameras uh, camera recorder system to um, Amer hang on let me take a job first to American frequency so that it won't go funny but the previous camcorder I've been using to record my face it won't let me put it in American frequency with ease actually they just don't let you do that if you want to do that you will have to do it in uh, you have to tweak it basically I'm going to take uh, should I take this one should I go north or south or I mean or it's west southwest or should I go here uh, let's go to Bremen or should I go to Kiel outdoor floor tiles or fertilizers I'll take I'll take this one okay here we go right and now I'm going to try to drive it as fuel efficiently as possible well not really but um, within the consideration of timeliness and safety of course and the indicator sound is quite significantly different Let me just check my legs are being recorded well enough. Yes, um... Right. I shall turn on. And um, this time I'm driving a single trailer so you can see me reversing the bay. Well, I mean, you've, since you've seen them. I, I've done such reversing for quite some time now, let me just open the window. Oh, actually, let me just close. Oh, for flip's sake. If I have them closed, you can st still stick your head out, which is interesting. Right, I haven't joined the beta program because I don't really want to. Um, but uh, I reckon if you do join a beta program, um, you can. They will. Um, the engine is a bit loud. You should have access to you should have early access to such a thing, but it won't be perfected yet. And uh, the, the, the 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 axles are on the trailer, the act the two axles at the back of the steering, which is very convenient when you want to maneuver. Uh, uh, another complaint I had is I didn't actually file a complaint or suggestion or anything, it's just my thought. Uh, none of the... None of the lorries in ETS2 have maneuver mode on in their gearbox. Uh, for those of you who don't know what maneuver mode is, it's with an automated gearbox it's a feature on an automated gearbox um, that in which if it enable maneuver mode your clutch remains open unless you press the accelerator so that makes basically makes maneuvering a bit more easily but then Scania in the recent years have reintroduced a clutch pedal they call it clutch on demand of some sort so then that can uh, let the driver take control because uh, a problem that uh, all, an, a problem automated gearbox has always had is uh, is that the the driver does not have control of the clutch and that's a bit funny in some tricky situation but frankly if you all 
If you often operate in that tricky situation, you may as well use an automatic gearbox. Because the torque converter can just do the use the fluid coupling. I mean, if you if you if you want control of the clutch, the chance is that you're riding the clutch often, and if you're riding on the clutch, you're losing energy anyway. You may as well lose that energy for the hydraulics rather than two pieces of discs. Right, I think I've gone in that bay quite well. But normally for reversing, a uh, manoeuvre mode or without a clutch pedal should be good enough. Right. Let me just... I normally show you uh, the engine starting from the outside, right? Well then this time I'm going to show you Let's go. that's from the outside, but I'm also going to show you which, when I start there from the inside with, with window open, it shouldn't sound much different. Well you get the interior sound and the exterior sound of course uh, with the window open. Um, another thing I've noticed is that well the horn sound has been changed. That's the that's the electronic horn or the the horn through loudspeaker basically, and the air horn. Um, I I I noticed that they put air horn on every single lorry, well at least every single one I've tried the air horn on. Even though you haven't, e even though you may not have air horn installed on your roof, let's have a listen. Quite annoying. You see, I don't have any air horn installed on the roof. So it must be hidden somewhere and oh lovely my lorry is loaded how interesting let me move forward a little bit right um yes i've had i i, I i'm having hang on let me turn on the lights there we go I'm having the lorries in salmon pink because uh, because it's one of the food colours. I mean, I can have it in orange, but salmon's a, sa salmon is orange anyway. I mean, it's salmon pink, but it's orange pink, if you get what I mean. And of course, I like black wheels. I think I should have put on some different colour of wheels because the last lorry I just drove on YouTube it had black wheels, that the other Merc. Anyway, let's get going. I'm going to drive with the window open a bit and then I'm going to close it. Now, of course, if I have the window open, it's rather tricky to talk over the engine noise. Have I got headlamps on or just parking lights? That was just parking lights. Right, I shall probably change my leg a little bit just to get my... I find that my, my left leg tends to be less tired than my right one. Which is interesting. It is quite loud. I mean, I can turn the volume down, but then that would that wouldn't be good enough. Please stop lagging. Right, I'd better close the window because it's too bleeding loud. There we go, much better. The the indicator sounds much much more realistic and uh, um 
By the way, I have Earl Grey and English Rose. Yes, I hope the uh, my screen recording facility won't give up on me. Uh, in case you're new to my channel, uh, I'm I'm currently using a method of plugging my uh, my gaming computer. Well, it's not it's not really just for gaming, but I've got two computers that none of them are neither of them are designed uh, are designated just to do one thing. But I used to use this for gaming because it folds. No, I usually use this to play games to be recorded because it folds all the way back. Um, and I can have the screen closer to me and the things. Um, and then I have this computer plugged into a ca video capture device which is plugged into my... Um, Another computer. Um, this computer's name is Michael. The other computer's name is um, Joseph. I think I've only got 400 something horsepower, which is sure it should be good enough. I mean, fuel, fuel saving, you know. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, Michael is plugged into a video capture device, which is plugged into Joseph. Uh, well, Michael is plugged into a video capturing device via the HDMI cable, because I don't do an SDI, because I don't do SDI. Um, I haven't got any SDI facility basically. I don't think any consumer computers will output SDI anyway. Uh, HDMI should be good enough. Um, and the, the... The... What is it called? Joseph is doing the recording. Um, Michael is out, outputting audio and... Uh, and uh, and videos, basically outputting AV, audio video. Right, I may need to do a little bit of kick down. Just need to be aware that speed limit should be 80. Don't need kick down anyway. Um, well, with my when I when I configure a lorry, because uh, all lorries are that have speed limiter in this game. Well, I, I have speed limiter turned on anyway because that's more realistic. They're, they're limited to 90 kilometers per hour, which is 56 miles per hour. In case you're not in the lorrying industry and you wonder why lorry drivers or lorry people always say 56 miles per hour, that's because that's translated from 90 kilometers per hour and lorries in the UK are legally required to have speed limiter fitted on and they usually limit them to 90 kph but in Germany the speed limit for lorry is well at least in the game from my experience from my experience in the game they're limited to 80 so you don't really go that far so what I do is when I uh, well in Britain they are limited to 60 miles per hour on the motorway but you can't go that fast anyway with the electronic speed limit on um, so if I can if I can go up to 90 kilometers per hour then I'll have a gearbox that's that has got lower ratios if I'm limited to 80 I will have a gearbox with a higher ratio in order to utilize all the gears because quite if you use a lower ratio gearbox uh, the, uh, and you drive no more than 80 kilometers per hour then it may not use the highest gear or it may only use the highest gear when you're at a 79 or 80 kilometers per hour so I don't really want that sort of situation to happen that's why so this one has got a 
uh, the, the higher ratio box on board. Anyway, back to recording. Uh, I previously configured Joseph to record in some other format and it actually gave up with the audio. Uh, the first time I noticed that it was when I was recording the Deutsche Bahn Baureihe 422. Baureihe, not Baureihe. That's wrong. I pronounced it wrong in that video. Anyway, Baureihe uh, 422. 422, that is. And the audio gave up, so I, I well, that I discovered that when I was reviewing the footage, I don't always review the footage, and um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, so I did the recording again, and it was okay. But then when I re when I was recording the Enviro 400 MMC video, it gave up at the end. But I didn't check the footage this time, so I uploaded it. I, I only discovered it when I watched when I watched it back on YouTube. But that then that was too late. So anyway, I changed the the uh, the format a little bit. So hopefully that will be working now. And of course, I, 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 this time I did remember to set my cameras to American footage. Uh, no, not footage, uh, frequency. I mean, they both start with F. Uh, whoops. Slow down, 50. Why have I still got the stupid indicator on? And um, there isn't really much update on the um, lorry models from my experience. It's, they just updated the sound, which is, to be honest, in my opinion, a huge update. Now, because I've got steering axles at the back, my uh, angle, uh, my turning radius is shorter, uh, and which means that I can take sharper turn, which is... You may have noticed that that was not as wide as I did in the past with a trailer of similar length. I think they should do more steering axle in the game because that's, again, a bit more realistic, probably. I mean, modern trailers should have steering axles anyway. Right, I think we're approaching the end, and another relatively short journey, it may have lasted, how long? Can't see, let me have a look on my recorder. About half an hour, but then I'll go, uh, uh, it's 28 minutes, 29 minutes now it's been recording, but, uh, but I will chop the beginning bit off, because that's the, the testing bit, so, um, oops. Anyway. I don't, in case you wonder, I don't have the accelerator all the way down. I don't usually do that when I'm at lower speed. Well, I'd better use the outside the one, otherwise, otherwise I would never be able to get out. Is that an A-class? Ooh. But to, uh, my personal opinion, I actually prefer B-Class. I mean, I like larger vehicles. You probably have worked that out already. But I just think that A-Class is a little bit funnily shaped, regardless of the size. Whereas B-Class, it looks a bit... It's a bit high up and a bit more boxy, and I prefer boxy, boxier vehicles. And that's BMW something, is it M5? I'm not very good at cars, to be honest. Well, I know a few models and things. And there are some things about cars that I don't really understand much. And I'm only talking about that at the end of the video. How nice. Perhaps I should do more. Whoops. Indicate. Whoops. Don't hit the bush. Bad. Hang on, am I hitting the bush? 
way through, lovely. Right, so finally we're here. Lower the window, the window open. Warning indicator. Hello, hello, mouse. Oh, there we go. Park it there. I'll show you the outside a little bit. Yeah, that's what the trailer looks like. Ooh, the lights are quite. The, the lights on the back look quite fun. I've got the standard Echo one, I think. No, it's an exclusive one. I can't remember which model I've got. Uh, oh well. But I, I, I seem to remember putting the marker on the side. No, I didn't. Because I usually put the one that's angled. Not the one that's points that points straight out. I must be remembering another trailer. Right, my fuel, my average fuel consumption is. Oh, for flip's sake, shut up. Right, you can hear me better now. My average fuel consumption is 43.1 litres per 100 kilometres. Don't know if that's good or bad. But of course, with uh, with this one, it's, it's not quite the same as miles per gallon. Miles per gallon is distance per, per volume of fuel. Whereas here, it's litres per 100 kilometres. So that's volume of fuel per distance. So with this system, uh, the the lower the number is, the better. Whereas with miles per gallon, the higher the number is, the better. Of course, you can pro you would probably have worked that out if you're a good enough mathematician. Uh, hang on, I just I just realised I've got um, I've got s steering axles at the back, so I don't really need that much. Hang on steering space now because this one if i put it in forward it's not actually in gear yet in case you're not familiar with automated gearboxes I, I, well the user setting has been set to forward drive but it's not actually physically in gear until you press the accelerator of course anyway um um well, with this one, I don't have an as powerful engine, so the computer automatically decides, at least that's what it assumes. At least that's what I assume it does. In real life, it should do, but I'm not sure about the game. But anyway, the computer automatically decides to start in first gear when you're pulling a trailer, even with no load. But anyway, uh, but if normally when I'm doing reversing manoeuvring, I would put it in manual because I want to start in first gear in forward. But if you're being auto, it may not always do that. But when you're maneuvering, it's always better to start in start in first gear in forward. But it will uh, it will start in first gear in reverse anyway. It's got four reverse gear, I think. Let me put it in manual to un another. Yep, it's got four reverse gears. Uh, right, let me do some reversing here. I think I may need to move forward later a bit. Whoops. Looked at the wrong side, I'd better use a joystick on the um, thing. Well, let me open a bit of window. Open a lot of window. Hang on, I may not need to go forward. Uh, okay, I just need to straighten up a bit because I would like to park it as nicely as I can do it. That's definitely no good. I'll, I'll show you the outside. Okay. I can judge from the inside, but I'll show you the outside what it looks like. Not very good. This is no good. Let me do that way. I've been switching legs and I haven't I haven't actually noticed that I've been switching legs. But then yeah, that's what I do. I I I've been starting to practice riding with my left hand because um 
if I'm honest, I, I grew up thinking that I'm right-handed and even though I, I've always known that my left hand is capable of doing a lot of things, but I always, I've always thought that I'm right-handed until I discovered that other people, a lot of things I can do with both hands, other people can't. So, um, or may not be nearly as good as I can. So that's, that's when I started to doubt whether or not I'm right-handed or, or is it just um, I was, I've been trying to blend in with the society. But, um, but then writing, uh, well, I, I started to doubt that I was right-handed until I discovered something known as being ambidextrous anyway. That's with hands. But then handwriting is something like, well, I, I've been convinced that I'm, I'm right-handed because I've never really been able to write with my left hand. But then when I, when I discovered uh, the, the ability to be ambidextrous and um, let me just shut off, put it in neutral, shut off the engine and um, that sort of thing. And, and, I, and then I, I realised that's a, a nature of handwriting that I've been forgetting. Uh, it's that you don't, re it's not like using a spoon or something, you just learn it overnight. But um, handwriting takes practice and things, so that explains it. Because I've tried use writing with my left hands lately and it seems to be getting better. And the reason why I would like to be able to write with my left hand is that I quite like handwriting, but something that puts me off handwriting is uh, when I write with my right hand and it eventually gets tired and there's that imbalance between left and right and I don't really like that. Anyway, I can hear quite clearly the gear changing sound of other lorries, so that's interesting. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the... let me press enter. Hello. There we go. Um, trailer maneuvering burners anyway um thank you very much for watching that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching see you next time good night it's